This video will document the startup on the Haas Super Mini Mill 2 CNC milling machine. Walk around to the back of the machine and locate the main power button. Ensure the breaker is turned on. Next step, check the air line, making sure the compressor is turned on. Move back the safety feature, turn the airline on. Ensure the airline is turned on by checking the pressure in the pressure regulator gauge. Come to the front of the machine, ensure the door is closed and pressed power on. Allow the time for the machine to, to go through its boot up procedure Read the instructions on here, it's telling you to ensure to reset the e-stop, use the reset button. Next thing we do is use power up restart, ensure you understand the panel, it's beside the reset button, power up restart. The machine is now powered up and ready to run a warm-up cycle. The Haas Super Mini Mill 2 has now been powered up and has homed all axes. What you need to do now is run the spindle warm-up program. Once again, come over to the control panel, go down and press the list program button. Remember to read the prompts, use the left or right arrow keys to select a device. We're in memory, arrow down, all the way down until we select spindle warm-up. Press the select program button, go back into MEM and we can now run the spindle warm up by pressing cycle start. See now the code is displayed in the MEM screen and it's going through it now. The spindle is now warming up, as you can see it's turning slowly and this will get faster and faster as it progresses through the cycle. Try and get to understand your codes. If we look at the first line of code where it says here, or the third line of code, spindle RPM 500, MO3, turn spindle on clockwise, GO4 is a dwell cycle, P is for 200 seconds. If we come down here, you can see it's dwelling now, it's at 144, 43, 42 of that dwell cycle before it moves into the next speed of 1000 RPM. Okay, we've nearly come to the end of our program, of our spindle warm-up program. We're on the last line of code now, and as you can see, the spindle's at 10,000 RPM. We've still got about 170 seconds to go. Just to verify that speed, we look over at the spindle speed, we can see 9,900. It's, it's holding it very closely to, to the 10,000 RPM, it's, and it's only using 5% of load at the moment. got about four seconds left of the program to run. In a moment you'll see it stop. And the light will now blink on and off to tell us that that's the end of the cycle.